earlier somebody messaged on the channel now i can't give you a lot of insight on the upgrades for the f-150 like the five liter and ecoboost stuff because i don't get into a lot of that stuff but i ha i was watching a video i think it was from like jlt it was uh jlt it was one of the cold air intake companies and somebody put a cold air intake on their vehicle and kept throwing a crankcase pressure code And they couldn't figure out what was going on. And it's been a common problem where I think it's like a Peel 4 DB or something like that that pops. And Ford is notorious for those crankcase pressure sensors going bad, especially like on the transits. I had a guy come in a couple weeks ago and I just installed it for free because it doesn't it takes like 10 minutes to do it. I mean, not even. You could just, if you just do it in the parking lot, lean over the front of the engine and just reach down in there, unclip it, and then pull apart the top, unclip your sensor and everything, and just pop the new one on, clear codes or whatever, and it doesn't come back for like another 40,000 miles. They are bad crankcase pressure sensors and notorious for going out. But a lot of guys will put a cold air intake on their vehicle, and then they'll pop that crankcase pressure code, and they'll think something's wrong, and then they'll try to start replacing stuff. Um, there was a company that actually put out a video, and I thought it was JLT, but it was an aftermarket company, cold air intake, they actually take a sleeve. There's some kind of sleeve that they install into the cold air intake where if the crankcase pressure sensor plugs in or something like that, and it's a it's a sleeve, it's a little tube. And they slide it in there and it fixes that crankcase pressure problem. I'll try to do some research and find it again. But there, there has been a lot of issues with just the cold air intake alone causing prank, crankcase pressure codes. And a guy asked me earlier to talk about that. We've actually had them come into the dealer before I seen this. And we'd asked them to put the cold air intake or take the cold air intake off and put it back to stock. And then all of a sudden the crankcase pressure code would go away and it wouldn't be a problem anymore. But a company fixed that with this little sleeve that they install. So uh, I will... Put the link in the comment section and i'll do some research on it right now to find that for you but that is the reason reason why on some of these newer vehicles when you go to that cold air intake it starts acting up and then it has a, a registered crankcase pressure code and there's a simple fix either put it back to stock or this tool that they use or this little insert tube i'll find it but this is what i found it was just a couple weeks ago looking at videos and trying to research this i found the company that actually spoke about it and actually said the cold air intakes do cause this problem often and here's a fix for it so there's two options i found there one of them has some people are saying it's like an aluminum tube that you insert into the port where the crankcase pressure sensor clips onto the cold air intake and you have to orient the the little tube it's cut at an angle there's a line on it they say you insert it where the crankcase pressure tube goes and it directs the flow across the bottom of it in that cut slot is supposed to work with pulling the crankcase pressures out appropriately. I guess it's just too open with the cold air intake systems and this fixes it on one system. And then I was reading on the F-150 forums, a guy went there or they're starting to go to a VPS dual catch can system that one of the lines has the crankcase sensor built into it and you run both catch cans off both sides of the motor or something like that i mean i'm trying to understand what's going on but anyway the links are going to be in the video or in the description box below and in the pin post so you can go watch it being installed and that is fixing the issues on these trucks with the cold air intakes uh, whether or not it actually works um i do know that the factory crankcase pressure sensor on the f-150s the transits the peel 4 db code is a common code and a lot of those sensors do actually go bad and then when you replace them guys get you know 30 40 thousand miles out of it i've seen guys come back like three or four different times on 100 thousand miles just to get that sensor replaced because they do go out even my parts manager at work he's got a transit and he said in 150 thousand miles it's like he has to replace that sensor every 50 thousand miles but when these guys are putting these cold air intakes on these trucks it's thrown off the way uh, the crankcase pressure flow and stuff gets pulled into uh, the intake system and that's why that peel 4 db code is uh, being thrown and then guys are actually saying when you put the factory intake back on and everything back to stock the code goes away 
here's uh, some screenshots. Here's some links to the videos, and uh, maybe this will help some of you make the decision on whether or not you're going to run a cold air intake or use the the little American truck has it on there. I think it's like twenty bucks for the little stem pipe that's cut at an angle, and they say that fixes the problem. So let's uh, let's have at it, and you guys tell me what you think.